Hey everybody, what the hell's going on? My name is Jack, what's your name? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say your name was? Did you say your name was? All right, I remember you guys from last time. As I said, my name is Jack and we are the World Inferno Friendship Society! Coming up fast. We're not the short of where we're going to stay. I know you're suffering and things went down to which someone once spelled out. Things don't fit that way. There's so much going on in your face, I didn't know that belonged to a dream. I don't know what you love to play. Yeah, don't be bold, I'm going to look the deal in the place, but it's just that way. Grab the leg, you feel hard up. Catch your sister quick. Ah. Putting a line in the pot against something you really is playing a part, and you should take what else you can get. What I say. Don't stone on your flesh, you do. Living moment, commemorating last will say. No wonder I remember this now, thing I always left forever. Huh? Huh? If you want me to, I can't. 
I'm born in a land of ill, so I eat you know what I say to you. I can't help the birds I knew. Her lips black through that never man for himself or against you. Thank you very much, everybody. I wonder if there are any spiky-haired drunk punks out there tonight. Are you sure? I don't see any spiky-haired drunk punks. song to all the spiky hair drunk punks and especially to that band Total Chaos who we played with so very long time ago here at the Fireside Bowl in Chicago. They didn't like me one bit and I returned the faith. I am staring down from the roof of the Fireside Bowl, looking down on the spiky haired drunk punks as the police chased me from apartment to apartment and I thought, fucking California punks. Piss me off so much. It's okay, I can roll with the punches. And roll with the joke. But for now, I want us all to imagine we are on the roof of the old Fireside Bowl. Looking down as the police cars circle the block. And Total Chaos's giant tour bus sitting there mocking me. As I stare down on that wall. i 
the back of a gangster's wall I stare from the rooftop Cause I'm smiling when you fall the star Tell those kids in the family of whiskey But I've got the keys to take cars away Downstairs. I don't know if they're local or not, but I hope they are. They were called uh, Cars or Coffins. Ever hear of them? I never heard of them before, last, this actually 20 minutes ago. But I'm mean, it's, it's a company, really? What does this company, Cars or Coffins, make? I bet they make bicycles, don't they? This one goes out to all the bike punks out there. Because sooner or later, you're going to have to listen to Ralph Nader. I don't like fast cars.
little bit of a little fake, so I don't really need to. I'll just cheer up and I'll figure out when the world is. The job of the use of sound, a way of giving all these creeps. Stop the hood and growl, plus his lips and sand. Oh well, I do, I always do. I miss you fast. Oh well, I do, I always do. Get on tight. Oh well, I do, I always do. I miss you If I take my tie off, I hope this does not offend you in any way. Someday I will take these pants off, but not before I get back to New York. You can do me a favor though and hold this non-drug related paraphernalia. Thank you, friends. This one goes out to our friends in the easy action from Detroit, Michigan. We're on tour together and we're having just the best party. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
my friends. <laughs> I was gonna ask, which of you girls were pull wing so much that this fell off? Well, that's a little bit blue for this sort of show. This club doesn't have that kind of license, kids. Don't get it shut down. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. We always have a good time in Chicago. Sometimes too much of a good time. <laughs> there is no pension plan for heroes. We can't even be guaranteed a bottle of wine to fall asleep with. However, once you've made your choice, you walk proudly through this world. Not looking left or right, but forward, ever forward. Backwards, never backwards. These may be lean times, but always there's time for heroes. It's not with a peaceful winter. secret. I have a terrible double life and you guys aren't even interested? Fuck this, I'm going upstairs to write it on the internet. I have a terrible secret. I am not from Brooklyn. My name is not Dr. Dracula who makes you get high. This is actually cranberry juice. I'm just pretending to be drunk. I'm actually named some bizarre Italian thing you couldn't pronounce, and I come from New Jersey. Now, New Jersey is a difficult state to come from because I don't think there's any state we can make fun of other than perhaps Delaware. Well, Florida. Make fun of Florida? You think so? Okay, maybe not Florida. Can anyone think of other states New Jersey is allowed to make fun of? I agree with all of you. So growing up in New Jersey, there were very few role models, and they had to trot one out every now and again because the teen drug and alcohol abuse rate was very, very high. 
and the only person they could come up with was a known communist who hated the United States government. I know. So in a way, being from New Jersey made me the radical troublemaker I am today. Thank you, New Jersey. Thank you. Kudos to you. This song is about that man, the greatest man to come from the Garden State, who fought for more than we could ever think about, gave up everything he had in his life for his people. Cain, his parents were born slaves. He was freed and then moved up to, yes, New Jersey, where he went to Somerville High School, then to Columbia University in New York City, became a lawyer, but then had to quit the law because a white stenographer would not take dictation from a black man. And then he turned to music as so many of us do. Won the hearts and minds of a nation and then simply said, I don't see why a man would fight against another country that treats the black people better than this country does. He was speaking of the Soviet Union and he lost everything that he had. He is my own personal hero, a bass profundo, Mr. Paul Robeson. <laughs> this teaching program in New Jersey was. Is there anyone here in the education business tonight? You're a teacher? I hated high school and I quit, but I have to admit, every teacher is a saint to put up with teenagers. And they taught us very well about Paul Robeson, so much so that one day at high school, during lunch, when I could not afford to buy any food, I placed a 1-800 call to information. And I said, hi, what are you doing? They said, can I help you with the call, sir? I said, yeah, you can help me with my call. And I paused because I'm good at that. And they said, sir, I can't hear you. Did you say something? And I said, yeah, sir. And they said, I I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Could you speak up? And I said, I, 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 and they said I, I, we can't hear you, sir. If you could please repeat yourself or hang up. And the woman on the phone said, you sound like the wind blowing through a bushel of trees. <laughs> Could you please speak up? And I said, I'm so Listen, I'm hanging up if you don't say clearly and distinctly what you mean. And I said, I 
shot President Reagan, and I'm gonna do it again and again and again and again. them run around. Everybody at the merch table, all the drivers, people who even drive to go to shows very, very long distances. Thank you very, very much. We are all ladies and gentlemen of the road. I'm 
last night and I'm not sure if you can remember this conversation because I might have made it up <laughs> and they're saying why would you keep touring after all these years <laughs> yes but I could do that at home <laughs> and they say you don't sleep the hotel you're on last in last night the roof actually fell on top of you this is true the roof fell on top of me last night and then the people at the hotel got mad at me about it well, you must have done something to make the roof fall. And I said, yes, I willed it to fall. With my mind. And they said, well, we're, we're holding on to your credit card. And I said, I paid in cash. <laughs> Victory Hotels in Michigan, very nice. Anyway, we came to the conclusion that we keep doing this year after year after year for the free two bottles of wine. I'll do it. And because we're about as dumb as the average house cat.
things in the past. <laughs> Such as dropping out of the old school. He's had a pretty bad week. He uh, sent a note with a bottle of wine to backstage and he said, listen, uh, the other day I came home, my girlfriend had stolen everything in the apartment except all of my $300 suits. And all of my $300 suits were now $300 pile of rags. Do you need any new silk handkerchiefs? And I said, yeah, I can always use more. Oh, shit, she cut up her suits. I get it. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm feeling pretty low. I didn't even know I was going to come to the show tonight, but I figured uh, it's Friday night, and I could just sit at home and watch uh, Hulu. But uh, if I did, I'd probably kill myself. And I said, you should definitely pay to get in tonight. And I'll meet you at the bar after the show, and we can talk more about this as we buy drinks for each other meaning you first. But he did already buy me one drink, so I'm gonna do him one as well. Friend, I know exactly how you feel, because I too have been hit right in the face with the velocity of love.
Thank you very much, everybody. I believe we have a very special celebrity in the back of the room right now. Is Mr. Noah Ledger just walking to the place or I just get chills because I'm going through drug deprivation? Oh, it must be that. Oh, the back of my head. Thank you very much. This next song is another true story about another very sad place in our fine United States. Being from New York City, even though I may be from New Jersey, and you really can't believe half of what I say, you people in Chicago don't know how lucky you are. The other day, we were playing in a place called Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That much is true. And friends, playing in Lancaster, Pennsylvania the night before us was a band you might have heard of. We got upstairs to the dressing room and on the wall was a pentagram made out of Swiss cheese. And you know, I was pretty impressed, you know. I like dairy, I like Satan, no problem. But when the people of the club came and said, they came up and said, what the fuck did you do to our dressing room? And I said, I don't know what I did to your dressing room. There was a pentagram made out of Swiss cheese when I got here. Man. And the guy said to me, fucking blue oyster cult. 
they played here last night. I can't believe they would do something like that. And you know what? I never liked Blue Oyster Coal at all until I heard that they did that. And so, Lancaster not being a very exciting place, I found myself going out to wander around and find all the old man bars. Because hanging out is fun and cool and all, but I want to be by myself sometimes. And when you're on tour, you're never by yourself. So I find the place I think my grandfather might like, and know what? then I go in there and get very drunk. So I sat down with all these Teamsters, wherever the hell they call them in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and down the end of the bar, there's one punk rocker. And he keeps looking over at me. And I'm figuring, what the fuck? I go over and say, hey. And he says, you're in World of Sound. I said, yeah. Yeah, I like you guys. I said, that's cool. I think I'm good, too. He said, yeah, but I'm not going to come see you tonight. And I said, why not? He said, well, I was like, come on. He's like, well, I don't got a ticket. I was like, you don't need a ticket. We'll walk in. You play trumpet. He said, no, no, my girlfriend's girlfriend's going to be there. I don't want to see her. And I was like, man, that, you, that, is, that is so lame. Come on, you're going to give up your whole life? And he said, yes, I'm going to give up my whole life. And I said, OK, can I buy you a shot? And he said, yes, you can buy me a shot. And so I walked, eh, maybe, he's already been fucked enough. Let's not make him, let's not be any meaner to this guy in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. He lives in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, A. He's been thrown out of his own scene, B. And uh, he, and he didn't, the drink he asked for was not even whiskey, he asked for a PBR. <laughs> and so driving home from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, we wrote this song called the politics of passing out. <laughs> it was the pound of fingers of passing out. No things I thought about. Wondering if in the spirit of when if we might see again. I made up lines, I made up quotes, I burned through schemes, I swam in hope. Waiting for the moment when any of this might matter again. We must work about joy for I'll jump back and fly Don't ever want something so bad Between you and I The great joy for me is the gift Of light Or and I joy At least for tonight So take it on the chin The t-shirt of the thing And the brains of my heart And the tattoos on your skin A night of love the sex and cigarettes And I like something This was supposed to be fun This was supposed to be fun It was the politics of hanging out That made me feel so dumb about Going to shows or even answering the phone Ended up hanging out all around A dim time to be king Of light Or and I joy At least for tonight So take it on the chin The t-shirt of the thing And fades in my arms Like the tattoos on your skin A night of a night A black old sex and cigarettes
Du bør tjåne for livet på Gud Og langt Og all our joy And lust for tonight Or maybe just tonight 